everybody, Sarah here at the Big Blue House Homestead, and I'm going to share a keto recipe today. I've been doing a lot of research, and I have found some recipes I really like. Unfortunately, my bread machine, I can't find my manual. So we're going to do this quick bread that's done in the microwave. I think it's a really simple, easy recipe. It uses very minimal amount of ingredients, and so it's really good and easy to do. And especially if you're trying to do keto, this almond flour, this little teeny tiny bag that looks like, you know, a cookie bag pre-made mix, this costs like $9. So it's expensive when you get into keto. This recipe only uses a small amount, which is gonna save a lot of your ingredients. All right, if you're looking for really good keto recipes, put in the hashtag Ohio Buckeye Bake Off, and there's a lot of people that are participating in that, or go check out Keto Homestead with Jess, or even Two Family Homestead. Um, Nana's Menagerie is her new channel, and they're doing a lot of the keto as well. But we're all just going to participate and do our best, and this month it's bread. So I'm doing this bread recipe that saves your ingredients. It's quick and easy. It takes you, like, no time. So let's get into this so we can get some bread made because I want a BLT. <laughs> That's what I'm in the mood for for lunch, so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. Okay, I'm doubling up on the recipe. You don't have to, but I have a large ramekin. You need to have yourself a nice ramekin. You could probably stick with a, you know, single recipe for this one, but we're going to go ahead and double it up and I'm going to see if it works out just as well. First things first is you're going to need a tablespoon of butter for the recipe. So I'm doing two tablespoons since I'm doubling. If you don't want to use butter, you can use oil. That's fine too, but you just want something that's going to act as a fat and to help it not stick. All right, so I've got my butter in my dish, and I'm going to go ahead and melt this in the microwave. I'm going to start out at about 20 seconds. We may need to go a little longer, but yeah, we just need to melt the butter. All right, so my butter is melted. There's a little bit that's not completely, but it'll be all right. Um, next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add my baking powder. You want baking powder and not baking soda, so please make sure you're not doing that wrong. But it's half of a teaspoon, and so again, I'm doubling, so I'm going to do... A whole teaspoon, but I'm doing it in half measurements. And I like to kind of sprinkle it so it's not just a big clump in the middle. So I've got my baking powder in. At this point, I'm adding in the almond flour. Original recipe calls for three tablespoons, so I'm doing six. And then it's supposed to be one egg, but because we're doubling, and I know I keep saying that, I'm adding two eggs. This is all that you put in it. You just add three tablespoons of almond flour, one tablespoon of butter, one egg, and half a tab uh, teaspoon of baking powder. So it saves on your ingredients. And then all you want to do is get in here and whisk it together really good so there's no lumps. And just to be on the safe side, I like to come through and scrape my sides and get all the way into the corners to make sure all the ingredients are mixed. That way nothing sticks on the side and makes it lumpy or, you know, uneven baked. All right, and so that's it. We've got our bread put together, and we're now going to go put it in the microwave. In the microwave, it only needs a minute and 30 seconds. Because I doubled this, I might have to add another 30 seconds to it, but you'll see it rise, and you'll be able to tell... It'll kind of pull apart a little bit from the sides, and I'll show you that once it's done. All right, and there it is. You can see how it's pulled away from the sides a little bit. These things get hot, so if you use ramekins, make sure you use a towel. If you use a smaller one, you're going to get a taller bread, but it's going to have smaller pieces. I like it this way because I can just slice it in half and then in half again. But you need to run a knife around the edges just to make sure it's all loosened. And I just kind of lift the sides a little just to make sure it's not stuck. And that one is perfect. And so now I'm going to put a plate on top and we're going to flip it. All right, here we go.
And the big reveal did it come out. All right, well, it came out. I did lose some of the edging. That's okay. I probably could have left it in maybe 10, 15 more seconds, but it's perfectly done. And what I like to do, like I was saying, is I like to just take a knife and cut it in half and kind of pull it apart from each other to let it cool for a minute. And then I can slice this in half, but I toast it sometimes to give it a little more um, strength on the outside of the bread. It's... It's not a bad bread at all. It looks like a big piece of bread. You could eat it open face like this if you wanted, but you can just cut it down. Now I guess it's time to put it together as a BLT and give it a taste test and show you what it is. Okay, it is absolutely wonderful. I love this bread, especially for it being so easy to make, quick to make, and it uses less ingredients than like a big giant thing of bread would make. But I threw together a quick little BLT and yeah, I snuck a bite because I'm hungry, but Using the bread, you can see it holds up nicely, and I just fold it in half, and so it makes, you know, a slice of bread. And I made this beautiful BLT. Okay, honest truth here, it's a little spongy and a little eggy, but it's not bad at all. I am a bread person. That is my biggest downfall is bread. And this I could eat all the time, which I have been doing. It's quick, it's simple. All your ingredients are really basic and you're not making ginormous loaves. And so I can actually eat this twice today. I can have it for breakfast, I can have it for lunch, and then possibly even for dinner if I wanted some sort of bread beside it. But it's really good for being a keto bread. 90 seconds in the microwave, come on now. You can't beat that. And again, if you toast it up, it does hold up a little bit better. So you could make yourself, you know, like an egg sandwich. Um, you could put it with like a big, almost a, uh, double decker type sandwich where you put like loaded sub stuff all over it and everything makes great tomato sandwiches I do know that and it makes great BLTs so it's a good bread so Emma came in and made a BLT too mm -hmm. and this is her first time tasting the bread it's really good <laughs> it's messy from the mayonnaise mm -hmm. yeah it's it, good it's really good bread See, we could make that more often, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, you always make a mess on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, keto-friendly bread. It's great. I, we like it. Emma likes it. It's good yeah. stuff. So thank you guys for stopping by. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.